Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of our house renovation project. So today we will have two really interesting milestones or working packages. The first one is yeah, the rest of the removal from the uh, wooden floor. Um, this will be some yeah, also some nasty and yeah, not so nice stuff, but then the second one will be really interesting. We need to remove an old steel beam which was integrated in the wooden construction of the house and this was not done so well and we will remove it and later on we will replace it with uh, with a proper wooden beam. But yeah, this you will see in the video. So I would say sit back and enjoy the video. Okay, so today we will continue in the other part of the first floor. So I will just explain you here my strategy for today. So these wooden planes are, yeah, they are really stable and massive. So it is, it's quite hard to destroy them. Yeah? So um, they are all, um, yeah, mounted with screws. And my idea at that point is um, that I want to find all the screws remove the screws and then hopefully uh, uh, yeah that I'm able to yeah then simply took the plates and um, throw them away yeah so this is my idea at the moment so in the other part you sh uh, you saw in the last video there uh, it was not possible because all the screws are yeah hidden and um, it's not possible to to uh, unscrew them so i need to destroy everything but this is why i know this is quite heavy work and really exhausting so this is why i'm a little bit optimistic and try it here again Yeah, and the result, maybe you noticed it, my optimistic strategy is not working. Yeah? So all the screws are hidden or demolished or whatever, and there's no way to re uh, to unscrew the wooden plates. Yeah, So this means I need to be the demolish man again, like Gordon Freeman with a crowbar and also my electric saw. And this means I will, like in the other part of the first floor, yeah, <laughs> be the root boy and to destroy everything.
as you can see in this area, we have quite only a few wooden beams here uh, for the construction of the floor. And this means you definitely need to be, to be careful what you are removing, where you are standing or sitting while you remove anything. Uh, because <laughs> as you might imagine, if you remove the wrong plate uh, or uh, break it at the wrong place, then you might crush, crush through the floor. Yeah? So this would be not so nice and I definitely try to avoid this here. So now most of the hard work is done. So this means I can take a little coffee break. <laughs> At that point, I want to thank you all for supporting here on my little channel with maybe a thumbs up or maybe also a comment or a like. Um, this is definitely some appreciated support. So thank you very much for that. But we are not completely done, so I want to re remove at least the floor along the outer wall. You can see in the background um, yeah, that we have access here for some later work. So this I will do here before we can continue with the next working package. And the rest of the floor I will leave here for the moment because you can see there is a, a small uh, stair and um, yeah, this also needs to be removed before I can remove the rest of the floor. But this uh, can be done a little bit later because for the moment I need or might need some access um, and um, so this means I do not want to remove everything. So but what is the next thing of course? Tidy up a little bit so all the wooden trash needs to be put outside the house and of course on a tractor trailer again.
Yeah, and then a few days later it is getting much more interesting. So our task for today is to remove a steel beam inside the construction, um, which definitely has some uh, yeah static uh, relevance, but um, it is a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, so from the from the uh, pre-owners of the house to use especially a steel beam. You, I can put here a little error. So this beam is what I'm talking about. Um, this, yeah, is not so good here in this wooden construction using steel beams and also uh, it's too short and whatever. So this was a big mistake from this from the, from the pre-owners um, using here such a short uh, steel beam and this means now I we want to remove it and for this we need to stabilize a lot of the rest of the construction yeah, because we do not want to yeah to destroy the house and um, this is now that we have uh, more or less half a day of work uh, putting a lot of supports inside the the construction inside the wooden construction of the house so that we are able to get uh, yeah, all the mass from the steel beam so that we can remove it then later on. And as a replacement for this steel beam we have uh, planned a wooden beam but much much bigger, uh, much longer and much more stable. And then on the wooden beam we also have the possibility to connect it much more properly to the rest of the house so yeah that we have at the end a much more stable construction. Here we can take a last look um, on the final construction. So here you can see all the supports, supporting beams and whatever. Yeah, so this is all necessary that the house stay in place while we remove the beam. And um, we can also shortly take a closer look here. So this steel beam now needs to be removed outside the construction. I cannot tell you, but it's it's quite heavy. Yeah, so we need to be careful while removing that we do not, um, yeah, that we do not hurt ourselves. So it's it's really um, a quite interesting task here for the moment. But at that point, no fear, no more speaking. Let's see how we did it.
Yeah, that definitely worked quite well so far. No hurting, no, um, yeah, no problems. So now we have it on the floor and this means we now have a nice big steel beam we maybe can use in some other construction. But for the moment we can put it on the side because we don't need it. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and that was it for today. Now uh, we have enough space for the new wooden beam and you can see it here. It's a little spoiler for the next video. You can see it here. It is already installed, but um, this you will see then in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. If you have some questions or whatever, please leave me in the comments. If you like this video, I'm really appreciating if you uh, put here a like or maybe you also subscribe to my channel to don't miss any further videos. So thank you very much and uh, we will see us again in the next video. Bye bye everybody.